Word of God comes through a donkey, that's good enough if it's the Word of God. Amen? Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. This is red letters again here, Jesus talking. He said, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall say to the sheep on his right hand, or he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Everybody say sheep and goats. Then shall the king say unto them on the right, that's the sheep, Come, you blessed of my father, and hurry to the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Why? He said for. Now he's, this word for is important here. For I was hungry, or hungered. That means I suffered want. I was needy. For I was hungry, or hungered, and you gave me no meat. Or you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one, of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. They didn't know it, Kenneth. They, they, they had been a, taking care of God's people and they didn't even know they were supposed to have been doing it. Why? Because their heart was right. Their heart was right. There's a lot of people that's uh, supposed to be Christians and supposed to be getting a hold of the Word now that's acting like they've not got no obligation to do nothing. But we're obligated to take care of God's people. We're obligated. Well, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. We might ought to be careful because this scripture that we're hearing, it'll judge us someday. Won't it? If you was a millionaire, Kenneth, do you think that God might ask you to help some people out that needed you know, there's people that uh, has got things to help people with that won't. There's people that sees God's people suffer need and they won't help them. They don't think they're supposed to. Brenda talked about that this morning, about covetousness. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand no he said in verse 40 and the king shall answer and say unto them verily I say unto you insomuch as you have done it get unto one of the least of these my brethren you have done it unto me now let's think about all these things that you've done to the brother he was hungry he needed something I mean he, he was didn't have what he needed to eat or he had a need and you had something to take care of him and you didn't or you did, one way or the other. Or when you saw him thirsty, or, or he was naked, didn't have good clothes, or he was sick, or in prison, and so forth. He said that they took care of him again. And then he went down in verse 41, and he said, Then shall he say unto them on the left, that's the goats, on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I, that word for there again, for I was a hungered and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you took me not in. 
naked and you clothed me not, sick and in prison and you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered or a thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister thee? Brenda, they, they answered exactly the same way that the sheep answered. They said, in other words, we didn't even know it. In other words, if we'd have known it, we would have probably done it. But these good people over here, they didn't have to have a menu to go by. They had a heart in them that wanted to help. If you're supposed to be born again and your heart ain't to help people, you need to get born again. Amen? Verse 45, Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous and to life eternal. Now, people, people has got not just money, got other ways to help people, and they won't help them that's supposed to be Christians, that knows what they're supposed to do. Are they going to make it? Are we going to make it? If we see our brother or sister destitute for daily food and we tell them this to go their way, we'll pray for them that God will meet their need. What does the Bible say about that? She ain't got no faith. She said, show ye, I'll show you. If you show me your faith without works and I'll show you my faith by my works. These people here was showing their faith by their works. These other over here had the same opportunity. Neither one of them didn't know that they're supposed to have been doing it, but they wasn't have done it because that they're supposed to have been doing a certain thing. They done it because they had a heart in them to do it. Amen. 